Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and today I am super excited to bring you a video doing a little bit of technical analysis and talking about the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency markets. Because guys, I think the bottom may have been in. I think what we were seeing in the last couple of days, about a week ago, is potentially going to be the bottom for this bull for this bear market in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Guys, we retraced 70% from the all-time high on Bitcoin. We retraced even further than that on some of the altcoins. We had a very, very big bear market, and I think there's a big bull market coming up. The only question is, when is that going to start? And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down why it potentially could be starting three days ago. We're going to be talking about that and more in today's video, but if you enjoyed today's video, you should definitely think about dropping a like and subscribing because I make cryptocurrency videos like this all the time. So let's get right into it. Bitcoin is currently trading right around $8,300. Its volume is pretty low compared to its price. It, uh, the, uh, the volume for this kind of price level would normally be around 6.2, 6.3, somewhere around six to six to six and a half billion dollars. The volume is right around five billion dollars right now, which that's something we're going to talk about a little bit more in uh, later on in the video. The market capitalization for Bitcoin is right around 140 billion dollars. It is up 5.1, uh, 5.1. Yes, 5.1% in the last 24 hours. The entire market has been doing pretty well over the last 24 hours, especially in the last about an hour and a half. There's been a little spike. We'll be seeing that on the chart here in just a second. But the entire market is doing pretty well today. As you can see, we have a lot of green. If we sort here by change, we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, coins and tokens and cryptocurrencies up in the double-digit greens. We have probably about 20 of them up here, and not that many coins that were in the red. About four hours ago, a lot of these coins that were are green right now were red. It was a more uh, neutral market just a little while ago. We've seen a little bit of movement over the last couple of hours as I was uh, preparing to make this video. If we bring this back here, we can see some of the big gainers like Archain, BitShares, uh, Bitcoin, NXT, IOTA, funnily enough, Substratum. A lot of people are big fans of, of uh, Substratum. we got Stellar Lumens down here, uh, Mithril, Dragon Chain. And then the big losers, we have Skycoin and Verge. Everybody likes to rag on Verge. There you go. It's one of the only ones that's down today. Anyway, let's go back here to sorting by market capitalization. Ethereum is currently trading around $530 billion. Uh, $530 billion. That would be a very expensive Ethereum, wouldn't it? $530, excuse me. Its market capitalization is $52 billion. Even if its market capitalization was $520 billion, that'd be a lot. Its market capitalization is right around $52 billion. Ripple is actually doing pretty well on the technical chart. It's hovering right around two-thirds of a dollar. Its market cap is just over $25 billion. Litecoin has passed EOS. EOS was above Litecoin a couple days ago for just a little while. It's back into its normal fifth place. This is kind of what the market is supposed to look like. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. That's that's how one. Uh, that's how number one, two, and three are supposed to look. That's been traditionally how the market has looked for a very long time. Bitcoin Cash is obviously missing a zero after this four for where it's supposed to be. Litecoin is at fifth place. It should be here, and Bitcoin Cash should be down here. But that's okay. We'll That'll happen in time. Don't worry, guys. That'll happen in time. EOS is still uh, really, really high. I talked about that in yesterday's video. We're not going to talk about EOS too much since I talked about it yesterday. Let's talk about the market capitalization. The market capitalization for cryptocurrency is just over a third of a trillion dollars. $335 billion, $334 billion as it's updated. If we come here to year to date, there are some interesting things that we want to see here. I talked about this in a lot of videos, so I'll be quick about this. What we saw here in the last couple of days was we saw a double bottom. Not in the last couple of days, in the last couple, couple of months. On February the 6th, when Bitcoin bottomed out at $6,000, the entire market, um, market capitalization bottomed out right here. I don't think I can get my uh, cursor to go on it. But right here, this little uh, dip right here bottomed out at $276 billion from memory. Oh, I just saw it there for a second. There we go. Right there. $275, $276 billion. And we saw a double bottom here also because this doubled out, doubled out, bottomed out right around that range as well. So that was a pretty clear double bottom on the market capitalization. Unfortunately, we broke that and we got support down here around this $250 billion range, which is a really, really important level of support. We want to keep that for the market capitalization. Now, support levels of support and resistance don't work exactly the same way on market capitalization as they do on charts, obviously, but it is good to have a $250 billion market capitalization bottom. We did see a little bit of a volume climax in the last, or not a volume climax, a little bit of a volume spike in the last couple of days as the, as the uh, cryptocurrency market capitalization continued to rise with EOS exploding and then bringing a lot of the rest of the market with it bringing bitcoin up like a thousand dollars in the span of about two hours the market capitalization has recovered quite a bit we're currently around 230 billion dollars let's look at the bitcoin dominance if we zoom in here to year to date actually let's go to one year because there's some things i want to show you let's see if the chart will load do, 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 do. no it's not going to hang on a second it's loading come on here we go so this is the dominance chart as you can see bitcoin historically has 
done a lot of the, it's kind of done this little downward stair set pattern as we can see it hovered up here right around 67 percent and if we go back over here somewhere it was up around 80 90 as you can see down here bitcoin dominance was up in the 80 90 95 percent range for the majority of the history of cryptocurrency but it kind of fell off when a lot of these altcoins started running a similar thing happened back here in december when the altcoin run was happening and bitcoin was topping out the bitcoin dominance just fell off a cliff and it's been slowly recovering now but actually in the last couple of days some of the volume some of the valuation has started moving back into the altcoins and as we can see bitcoin dominance is going down a little bit we're starting to see a lot more people put more uh, speculative investments start moving some of their valuation into more um, risky speculative altcoins which is not a terrible thing i think that's definitely going to help propel the market especially if some of these uh, some of these altcoins just explode and people get really good returns and then that kind of gives them more confidence in the market We'll see how that plays out. Let's go to the Bitcoin chart I'm mainly going to be doing uh, technical analysis on Bitcoin today I want to focus on Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the market leader and of course whatever Bitcoin does the rest of the market is Traditionally going to follow as we can see here. This is what happened to the market in the last couple of days We are on the hour chart a couple of days ago on the 12th of uh, March it is we saw Bitcoin spike over $1,000 in the span of an hour. We went from here from about $6,900 all the way up to $7,700. And at the peak of this candlestick, it was over $8,000. This was about a $1,000 candlestick. And as you can see, we've been slowly just kind of forming this little uh, bullish flag, if you will. It's a bull flag, but it's in the bullish direction. So it's like a bullish bull flag. We've been forming this little bullish bull flag. <laughs> I've never heard anyone use that, use that phrase, but I'm going to use it because it sounds funny. You can draw a little trend line right there. That's not a really important trend line, but that is something to keep in mind. You could have also drawn a little uh, a little breakout pattern, which is tr which is typical of a uh, of a bull flag. And as you can see, we broke bullish out of that. If we if we get rid of these, let me see if I can click that. I can't click it. There we go. Let's click that. If we click that, then we can see that Bitcoin has spiked a little bit in the last couple of day in the last couple of hours. Actually, it spiked here from around eighty one hundred up to about eighty four hundred, and right now it's trading right around eighty three thirty. This is really interesting because Bitcoin is looking like it may be gearing up for a breakout. If we come here to the four hour, we can see this a little more clearly. What we saw on Bitcoin, if we zoom out here, what we saw on Bitcoin, let's get volume out of here so we can see the bottom of the chart. What we saw on Bitcoin is we came here and we bottomed out around this long term uptrend that I talk about so much on the channel. And here it looked like we were going to come down and test it, but instead we broke bullish and then we came down here and we broke below it for quite a while. But you can still call this support. We broke below it, but the fact is we still got above it and we didn't go so far below it that we can really call this a complete break of this uptrend, especially since we're above it now. This is a really important uptrend. We want to keep this uptrend. I've harped on that a lot on the channel. We also want to stay above this long-term downtrend. Now, one thing to keep in mind on this long-term downtrend is that I have seen other people draw this long-term downtrend. Instead of drawing it exactly precise like I have it here, they'll draw it a little bit more like, like, uh, like this. And if you draw it like that, then that means that we just broke it. Now, that's not how I draw it because I draw it more precise than that. But some people are seeing that we just broke that. So that's important. That's an important thing to keep in mind is that that downtrend looks like it's just being broken for some people. Another thing that we saw or that we're seeing is that the 100 day looks like it might be about to cross the 200 day. That would be unfortunate. It's not a huge deal, but we don't really want that to happen. We are getting resistance right now, or we're not actually getting resistance just yet, but we very well may get resistance here at the 50 day, which is just kind of falling as the market continues to fall. We saw the Bitcoin death cross back here a little while ago. We want to get support at this 50 day moving average. We want to get above it, maybe have a little bit of a, of a, of a retracement. Actually, I'm on the, no, I am on the day chart. We want to get a little bit of a, uh, we want to break through this and get a little bit of support on it. See if we can bounce up there through this $9,000 level. This $9,000 level is going to be really important in the coming days. Keep this $9,000 level in mind. We're going to see a lot of resistance and hopefully a lot of support there because what the $9,000 level represents is that we have a lot of we have a lot of uh, touches on that level right here. If we zoom out, we can see that there's a lot of touches. We have a double top right here. We have you could call that 9,000. That's about 9,300. So it's around 9,000 to 9,100, 200 that we're going to need to be looking at. We have some support levels back or some resistance levels back here, and we have a support level back over here. $9,000 is also a big even. Getting close to $10,000, 9,000, and then 10,000 because 9,000 or 10,000 rather is a big even is also going to be an important level to look at. And another reason that we need to be careful of 9,000 is that if we look, if we take uh, Fibonacci retracement out, which a lot of people use Fibonacci retracement, making it a pretty powerful tool. If we take Fib retracement out here, then we see that the 50% retracement level is exactly at $9,000. So Fibonacci retracement is telling us also that $9,000 is going to be an important level. The 38.2% um, recovery, recovery level is also right where we are getting resistance right now. So we want to get above that. 
which is also right around where the 50 day, which is right around where the 50 day moving average is also i didn't realize that but we want to keep that in mind we could be getting really strong resistance here in the next couple of days and in the next couple of hours actually at 8300 and 8400 so let's keep that in mind as well we come out here to the day we want to look at the rsi and the macd as you can see we bottomed out here on the rsi but we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of movement on the RSI here. We're already back up close to 60 because we had so much movement so fast. The MACD is about to cross back at over zero. We are we are uh, bullish on the MACD, rather, on the day MACD. One thing to keep in mind is that the volume is still pretty low. You know, we had a lot of volume here when we broke bullish out of this, but the volume isn't terribly high right now. As you can see, we had a huge volume spike here, but we just don't really have the volume that we were having back here when we were falling. We, we certainly don't have the volume that we had when we were making this little market run over here. We just don't really have it. We need to see a lot more volume come back into the market. And I think that's going to happen, guys. I think that we are gearing up for a bull market, but we're going to need time to really establish ourselves, set some levels of support, set some, well, break some key levels of resistance. And I think we can start a bull run out of this, but it's going to take time. You got to realize, guys, we've been in a bear market for four and a half months, actually coming on close to five months now. We're not going to go back to the moon right away. We're not going to go back to all-time high. Probably not in the next month and a half. Probably not in the next two months. I'm thinking probably in late June or early July we could be back there if everything goes according to plan, which I'm not saying it will. I think we could be back there in that kind of time frame. One last thing I want to show you guys before I wrap the video up is that we do have an important level of resistance approaching, and that would be the downtrend on the logarithm scale, on the log scale. If we come here to the log scale... Then we can redraw this trend line. Actually, I'm just going to draw a new trend line. We can draw a trend line right here that touches these three points. As you can see, we have a touch here, a touch here, and a touch here. And as you can see, we are getting very close to this trend line. We're going to need to break out of that and also the $9,000 range, which both of those are very similar in, uh, they're very close to each other right now. So those are two levels of resistance that are right next to each other. Historically, when two levels of resistance are right next to each other, that makes them very strong. I mean, that makes sense, right? So we're going to need to break both of those, especially this downtrend. That's the most important one. We want to get out of that because the entire market is still below that. We haven't broken above this downtrend ever in the course of this market like we did with the with the uh, linear scale one. Let's go back here to the auto scale. I think I've made my point, guys. I think, the bo I think the bottom is potentially in. I'm not saying for a fact that it is, but I think that we have the potential for the beginnings of a bull market here, guys. I think that the bottom... I think that the market has retraced a lot. And I, well, I know that the market has retraced a lot. From 20,000 to 6,000 to 6, is a 70% retracement. We had a huge retracement, and we've just been kind of jostling around here in, in between 12,000 and 6,000 for quite a while. I know I'm certainly ready for a bull market. I want to know what you guys think, though, so definitely leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me what you think about a Bitcoin bull market. I know I'm ready for it. I hope you guys also have your positions ready, because I think... I think we may be about to go to the moon. I'm not saying that for fact. I'm not a financial advisor. Make your own decisions. But I think that we are definitely in a position where one could begin and where one may have already begun. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. I wish I want to thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, you should definitely think about leaving a like and subscribing. And also, come join the Discord server. We have a nice little community going on over there. Shout out to everybody in the Discord. Leave a comment if you're in the Discord server telling everybody how awesome it is. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.